My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. I was really fortunate to purchase three Buick GSs from a Buick collector just recently. We've known this man about three decades, done some business. He's meticulous. All three cars are fantastic. The more I look at them, the better they get, especially this one right here. It is extremely nice. I have a lot to tell you about the car in a minute. If you go to volocars.com, that's where you can read all the specs, see the photos top to bottom on this car his other two Buicks, and a few hundred collector cars that are all for sale at volocars.com. Right now, I'm excited to take you for a spin in a 1965 Buick GS Grand Sport. 61,000 actual miles, there's no question about it. This car is such a sweetheart. It is a rust-free, damage-free body. It is so clean and straight. The factory spot welds are still showing around the lower quarter panels. Laser beam straight, not a bubble, not a crack. The gaps are right on the money. It is so nice. The paint job was done in 2018. It's Arctic white and regal black it's not a vinyl top it's a two-tone paint job and then you got the red grand sport emblems that pop it's nice look at the red how it just pops look at how the chrome just glistens on this car again all the gaps are beautiful the glass is all crystal clear all the stainless moldings are straight and shiny and polished i purposely just rolled up these windows so you can see how nice they fit and look how crystal clear every piece of glass in this car is. Door handles nice, all the rubber seals and weather strips. The pillar is not pitted. It's a remote mirror in beautiful shape. Look at the louvers, they look new. The 14 inch GS wheels are new with the red uh, Buick center caps, new tires. The emblems, the bumper, the grill, it's all in beautiful shape here. Now, this is a uh, 401 nail head, and I don't know where the, uh, we don't get many of these in here. Here we go. It says Wildcat 445. That's the torque. Buick did that a lot. They put the torque on there. But it's a 401 nail head motor with 325 horsepower, 400 miles since it's been rebuilt. It is the number matching engine to the car. Petronics ignition, all new wiring harness in the engine bay, correct antenna, the Buick uh, shields on the mirror. The interior is amazing. It's got two upholstered seats. The rest is all original, and I mean in really nice shape, especially for white. It shows practically like new. The two armrest cushion pads are the only thing shown somewhere. Those are easy to replace. The back seat, the headliner, the side panels, all excellent. Trunk compartment is absolutely immaculate metal. It's got the gray spatter finish paint. Uh, it's super clean, painted. This is the original paint under here. I didn't mention the jams are the original paint. You can see the factory spot welds and seams. The door jams are actually just spotless and that's original paint. Uh, the dash just looks brand new. The lenses are crystal clear. The chrome sparkles. It's not even dirty. It's not pitted. It's not cracked, broken, faded. The steering wheel is pristine. Getting back to the 401 engine, this was uh, Buick's version of the GTO, basically. And GM only allowed 400 cubic inch or smaller. This is a 401 cubic inch, so actually it exceeded their limit. This car is at least as good as a GTO or better, so much more rare, but it's gonna cost you about half of what a 65 GTO would cost you in this condition. Uh, alternators rebuilt, the radiators record, the heater core is redone, has power steering, has a new power brake system. He did add discs up front with drilled and slotted rotors. 
All three of his cars pretty much got the similar treatment. This one has the Hotchkiss Sports Suspension Package, all new suspension front and back. Uh, it's got upgraded control arms, uh, upgraded shocks, springs, sway bars front and back. And you can see the armrest here is a little worn. These come off with two screws, replace the armrest, and you have an immaculate interior. It has the deluxe seat belts. The original uh, floor mats are in excellent shape. Center console. The GS package was the 400 motor. Uh, it came with bigger wheels, heavier duty suspension, bucket seats, console. That's all part of the GS package, similar to the GTO. The AM radio plays crystal clear. Really cool looking knobs on the dash. The console's beautiful. Headliner and visors are bright white, tight as a drum. Now Buick called it the Super Turbine 300 Automatic. The motor and trans were both rebuilt 400 miles ago. The car functions like a new car. Original antenna. Rust free underneath. The exhaust, I think, new on this one too. Uh, just an outstanding car, any way you look at it, front to back. It does have a chrome Buick for a uh, Buick wheel for a spare. It doesn't have a tire on it. it does come with some shop manuals. I was saying this is the original paint here. Look how nice it is. It's probably the original rubber, because this is the original paint. But look at the chrome, how it glistens, the moldings, the glass. It's an original rear seat in really nice shape. The cushions are still good. The seats don't feel, uh, you know, blown out. Interior lights work under the dash, in the console, in the headliner, in the glove box. The car functions like a new car. No cracks in the steering wheel. It has 61,063 actual miles. It's a sweetheart of a car. So if you want uh, quite a muscle car here, you won't find one better than this one. Visit volocars.com. That's where you can contact us. Uh, we'll answer any questions you have about the car. Uh, plenty, of, uh, plenty of ways on there to contact us. We'll help with the shipping, the financing. We'll walk you through the whole process. Also, subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's the best way to see these videos as we put them out. I appreciate everyone who has been watching and stay tuned for a lot more to come.